since its inception in 1987, Al-Rahmah School has grown tremendously in many aspects. But one thing that has remained the same um, is that it has maintained its welcoming atmosphere in inviting children and families from diverse backgrounds and cultures. Well, one of the most exciting things about uh, Arahma School is that we try to take a holistic approach to educating the child. So what we do is, um, even in all the, the quote-unquote secular subjects, we try to incorporate as much Islam uh, as possible. So for example, we have a theme of the month and we highly encourage the teachers to bring those themes uh, into what they're teaching in their class. So whether it's English class or history class, science, uh, whatnot, uh, we try to interweave uh, all those subjects together. So we educate our um, students uh, by asking ourselves the question of what qualities do we want to encourage our um, students should have as they grow towards adulthood. Uh, we are focused on meeting um, their needs as a whole child, um, their spiritual, uh, cognitive, uh, physical, emotional. We try to utilize the Quran that the students are memorizing to derive some of the Arabic uh, aspects that they're, they're learning uh, and then also some of the Islamic studies themes will come directly from the Quran that they're memorizing. So we try not to make it just subject by subject, we try to make it a full integrated approach so that it's reinforced uh, with the children. Our uh, student to teacher ratio is small and intimate. Um, it is about 15 students on average to one teacher. Um, it allows our teachers to do more focused activities, design more individualized educational plans, um, incorporate um, all learning modalities, uh, visual, kinesthetic. Uh, it allows them to use more technology in the classroom through Khan Academy, through learning programs. Um, we, our teachers use a lot of hands-on activities, arts and crafts, um, and hands-on science experiments. We, we have a hundred percent graduation rate with uh, the students that have come through the school thus far. Our graduates generally graduate in their 11th grade year and they are able to take dual enrollment classes. They can go to a local community college or university that has a dual enrollment program and they can enroll as a college student. This year we've had students who have been accepted into about 12 different universities, colleges like Towson, Goucher, Morgan State University, University of Maryland, Loyola College, Hood College, as well as getting generous scholarships where, where they are applying. Um, we, we had, as of December of this year, about $250,000 in scholarships that were awarded to students that are planning to attend four-year universities next year. Uh, Arama School has uh, several clubs and activities all year round that allow our students to be well-rounded. Uh, to mention a few are Model UN, um, we have STEM Club, we have Art Club, we have Science Explorer Club just for the uh, elementary students. These clubs and activities not only give exposure to our students but also uh, looks good on the college, applica college applications and it also provides them opportunities with internships and uh, college scholarships in the future. Last year we had uh, students from middle school and high school who went to New York for the Model UN conference. Um, this year our middle schoolers are going to the uh, DC conference and our high schoolers are going to New York. We have a laptop program so we give each uh, high school student a Chromebook but the intention of the program is that they have uh, a device that they can use to communicate with students, with teachers and teachers can grade on, on those uh, platforms, they can grade on the Edmodo. The purpose of the technology is definitely uh, to make sure that students are able to function in this 21st century world with 21st century tools. We try to um, incorporate the issues that they're facing at the adolescent age. So just recently, for example, uh, the high schoolers, uh, the, actually seventh grade and up, they learned about internet safety from an Islamic perspective. So uh, things about gender relations, gossip, um, you know, lowering your gaze, um, uh, false personalities, you know, being two-faced, all those type of things. The students did research, they did posters and collages and PowerPoint presentations so that they can take those concepts that are very important in Islam, like modesty and, and proper relations between the sexes, and apply it to a real life situation that they're actually facing day in and day out. So that's one of the unique things I think that we have going on here uh, at Arahma School. We are an accredited K-12 school who is also nationally recognized. 
On February 3rd, the president um, uh, came to visit our school. I'm always excited to see young people because you're our future. And I want all of you to understand that uh, we're expecting big things of you. You're going to do great things as doctors and lawyers and advocates and uh, as scientists and engineers and who knows, maybe a president or two. So. <laughs> And his historical 45-minute speech that he gave, it not only helped uh, boost the morale of our students, but also it, it validated their rights as American citizens. Uh, I'm teaching uh, U.S. government uh, in, for the 10th grade uh, girls class and um, kind of showing some of the similarities and differences between the U.S. Constitution and government uh, versus, you know, Islam, Islamic law, maqasid, sharia, and things like that. So they get to see, you know, the compatibility and some of the things that we can do as Muslims within this uh, greater society as well. So it's been, it's been very, very exciting. So our, our desire is to produce a student who is not only emotionally stable, um, is uh, practicing the deen, um, also is a student who has great pride in civic responsibility and also positively contributes to the society, especially in these days and, and these times. Parents bring their children to al Rahma school because al Rahma school is an extension of what they are trying to instill in their children at home. The Islamic values that they want their children to have, we continue with that and may strengthen it. Uh, they don't have to compromise their values in order to fit in or be part of a group.